This Martin Luther King Jr. Day commemorates uh, communities across our country and state are finding ways to honor the life and legacy of Dr. King, a man who lived and died seeking justice for all. You know, our Alex Haskell joins us now live and has more for what's going on in our state. Hey, Alex. Hey guys, good morning. So MLK Day is the only federal holiday designated as a national day of service to encourage all Americans to volunteer and improve their communities. Now, if you're not feeling comfortable going out in your community because of COVID-19 or the snowstorm, there are some virtual events for everyone to attend. During a virtual panel today, Maine's Attorney General and four other individuals with differing personal and professional perspectives, they will address the topic the state of civil rights in Maine. It's part of Eastern and Central Maine's Martin Luther King Jr. Day celebration. The free event will be live streamed on YouTube from 930 to 1045 this morning. One of the events co-sponsors is the Greater Bangor Area Branch NAACP. I spoke to its president, Michael Alpert, a little about the state of civil rights in Maine before this morning's panel dives deeper into the topic. Maine is a complex situation. There's, there's a great deal of room for improvement in civil rights here, and yet there are many people of goodwill. Uh, Maine citizens are, are by and large nonviolent. They're generous to their neighbors. In, in terms of uh, the culture of Maine, it's, it is complex because we also have a, an active right wing. So a link to the event and some other ways to recognize MLK Day will be up on our website and mobile app a little later this morning. And one of today's in-person events will be at Portland's Children's Museum and Theater of Maine. It will celebrate the legacy of Dr. King with a Black is Beautiful art exploration. Alex Haskell, New Center, Maine.